video is brought to you by Squarespace. We have just arrived in Switzerland, which has the reputation for being one of the most expensive countries in the world. So we want to test that theory right here in the largest city in Switzerland, Zurich. And we've got 48 hours here to explore and see what the Swiss city has to offer. So if you are new around here, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, an Australian family on a big epic Euro trip. We started in Italy, eating pizza and pasta before heading north and catching one of the world's most stunning train rides into one of the world's most beautiful countries. So one of my favorite things when we come to a brand new city is while Jess and Hunter are slowly waking up, I like to sneak out and go for a little bit of an explore and go and find out what the local coffee is like. They do really bad coffee but you see them everywhere. I'm actually intrigued on how much a coffee at Starbucks costs here in Switzerland. This just made me think I was looking online and I realized someone has put together a price of a Starbucks tour latte around the world and I thought it would be quickly interesting. Of course, in the US they say it's about 326 US. Uh, let me know if that's what it normally is. The cheapest country in the world for a tall Starbucks latte is Turkey at $1.31. And then I found out that, of course, the most expensive expensive place to get a tall Starbucks latte is right here in Switzerland. It's $7.17, which is about 10 Australian dollars for a small coffee. <laughs> I think we can go somewhere else. Found this little hole in the wall coffee shop, looked perfect. It was still about $8.50 a coffee, which back home in Australia, we, uh, that's usually good for both me and Jess, but uh, they did a flat white. Oh, that's the best coffee we've had in Europe so far. Okay, I, I'm getting these things as experiments to show you guys how much things cost, not just because we have a mild coffee addiction. All right, let's get this back to Jess. So we noticed that there are trams, buses, trains running all through the city. So we just picked up a pass. We got a 24 hour one with a half off card. It was around six Swiss francs, so about 10 Australian dollars. And this is our tram. If you were to peek into my mind, you might see it. Now they also do a Zurich card. If you're planning to go to some museums as well, they kind of bundle it into a little package. Works out to be about 80 bucks for the three days. But we just picked up the 24 hours and we're just gonna do that every day because it works out like a lot cheaper. It's such a beautiful city, isn't it? And it's so clean and the people are so friendly. Like everyone we've run into so far, so nice. There's just something about how Europe loves to utilize rivers through their cities and it just makes it look so much more beautiful. I don't know, being Australian, just get us anywhere near the water and we're happy. This makes us happy. <laughs> so we stopped off at Old Town and this area is the only thing that I can remember when we came here last time. And do you know how long ago it was, Steve? It's like seven years. Seven years ago. Can you believe that? We are in Zurich, Switzerland. That's one of the famous churches that everyone talks about. That's on one side of the river. And then there's another one on this side, but I don't know where it is at the moment. No. <laughs> it doesn't feel like seven years ago that we were in Switzerland. So we just saw this little riverboat coming past and we thought to jump on. It's included in our 24 hour pass. And now we're going along the river, seeing the view from the water of the city. What a beautiful way to go and explore the city. Wait for it. <laughs> it's so interesting when you see the boats, they almost look like a squished pancake. And you can see why. The bridges here in Zurich are very low to the ground, like low to the water. So uh, it is this interesting, almost funny looking boat as you go down, but full glass windows. Almost feels like you're getting a free river cruise at the same time because we picked it up for the buses and the trams. So when you think of the Swiss or Switzerland, you think of Swiss chocolate, you probably also think of Swiss watches. But when you're walking around the city of Zurich, you have these beautiful clock faces and they kind of surround the city, almost like a reminder of, yep, we're Swiss, we make beautiful watches. I'll show you guys some of our favorite ones because it's just, they're incredibly beautiful. And as you walk around the town, you, you honestly can't help but see them. I just love how colorful Europe is. Like every single building is a different color. It's like you don't even feel like you're in the heart of the city right now, hey? It's like what, almost four on a Monday? There's no one around. Greenery as well. So clean. Like you would not think right now that you're in the largest city here in Switzerland. We've just stumbled upon this medieval pedestrian street. Every single house is a different color. There's like some shops, some homes, some restaurants. It's like this cute little medieval street and 
it just feels like you've gone back in time. This is your little tip, if you have a little one who doesn't mind having a nap in the pram, this is when you go and explore the city because Hunter always finds this bit a little bit boring. So we come out, she has a nap, we go to explore the city, and then after we can go do something she wants to do, which is probably go find a playground. <laughs> Guess what I see up here? I see swings. Huh? Do you want to go to them? You woke up at the perfect time. Can we show you where they are? I used to think about growing up. I'd meet a boy and fall in love. He'd buy a ring and marry me. And ever after. So come to a spot called Lindenhof, which is like this little park here in the central town. It has one of the most picturesque spots. You also have the traditional homes, different colourful homes as well, surrounding this kind of square park. And then if you go to the other side, really beautiful views of Zurich. Highly recommend just picking up a picnic or just a drink, sitting down watching the sunset. This is the one spot I remember when we came to Zurich like seven years ago. Can you say Zurich? Definitely one of the best view spots here. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of the best view spots here in the city. <laughs> Do you want to go on a boat? Okay, yeah, that, that boat down there? I'm a more boat. More boat? Let's go find it. I'm a more boat, a more boat. More blue boats? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, how do you got this? Okay, you go do it. Can you reach? One of my favourite things about Europe is we seem to always come across free-flowing fresh water in the cities. This is like a big band playing. We just came back into the city to go check out the water during the sunset. It's just a huge band playing. look good. The fresh bakery stuff is so good in here. Croissants? Yeah. <laughs> of course they have a wall full of lint balls. <laughs> so I feel like there's flavours we haven't even seen before. So what about, so she chose this flavour, that looks pretty good. We can choose two, one more. Yep, one more. Alright, pop them in. Yeah. One of my favourite things when we come to a new country is having a look through their grocery stores. They're always so different, so fun. And I definitely think that if you're in the world's most expensive city, instead of eating out, I think we're going to be cooking most of our meals. Bread rolls, tomato, spinach, chocolate croissants, cheese, yogurt, some sushi, a little quiche, rice crackers, bananas, some juice shots and three lint balls, but uh, maybe make that two. So we're back at our Airbnb and we got a couple of bits and bobs and it costs us around 50 Australian dollars for all this stuff. So I definitely recommend if you're coming to Switzerland, book yourself an Airbnb, get a kitchen. And I really like the co-op shops. There's a lot of like fresh produce. And because we're in Zurich for only two days, there are a lot of actually healthy-ish ready-made meals in co-op, which is good. So you don't have to go buy a bunch of like little ingredients that you won't use up, just like how we got the quiche. So of course, accommodation can be quite expensive here in Zurich. So we found Airbnb about 30 minutes to walk outside of the town or a 12 minute tram ride which is fine because it's about $500 for the three nights yes which is quite expensive but compared to hotels was quite reasonable it's a studio apartment we have a kitchen we have a bathroom we have like a little space to have breakfast have dinner that was kind of like the best we could find and on our road trip which is coming up next week we actually jumped between Airbnbs and hotels because in regional Switzerland, Airbnb sometimes can be more expensive. So I recommend you just check both to find the best price. Hey everyone, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to Squarespace, longtime partners and friends of our channel for partnering up with us on this video. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. From Squarespace's award-winning website designs to their 24-hour customer support, which means you can make beautiful looking websites. Plus, if you ever get stuck, you can easily just chat to the team. They can get you through it. Jess built our flyinthenest.tv 
TV blog, our website on Squarespace and she easily did that. So if you have any questions, do let us know. Plus, if you're interested in signing up to Squarespace, making your own little blog or website for your business, head to the link in the description below. You can get a free trial plus 10% off your first order. Now let's head back to this video. So we kept noticing all these locals swimming in the river and the lake and then we had a Google and we found out there were 11 official swimming bars that you can go to around the town. And so we had a look and we found one that is recommended if you've got little ones. We've headed down. It is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely so good if you have kids. They have a full on playground, a splash pad for kids. They have an area in the lake that they've turned into a pool and they have water slides that go straight into the lake. So this morning we jumped on a train about 15 minutes outside of the city and we're gonna be going on a gondola. And I feel like throughout this Switzerland series, I'm gonna be saying that a lot. This is nice for only three Swiss francs if you've got the half card. You can come right up to the top of this mountain and you have such incredible views of like the entire city. Like you can see Zurich, not just the old town, you can see everything and you can see the water running through. It's a way bigger city than we thought. This is really nice, especially if you come to Zurich. It's a bit of a city stay, right? Coming out here 15, 20 minutes outside of the city, you can come on a gondola. It is so green up here, so fresh. I mean, Jess, we're just chatting. We love how here in Switzerland, they just love hikes. Like up here, there's a hike you can go and do, but everywhere you go, through these beautiful woodlands, it's a good little spot. To be a table that sits in the corner, shelving magazines, we only of people. The last few days here in Switzerland have been so hot, so we thought, oh, let's come up to the top, grab a drink. We just ordered some cider. First of all, look how big this thing is, and it's in like a full on bottle. Like, I haven't had it like this before, but cheers, Steve. Uh, cheers. How nice is this restaurant? I know, if you're feeling that fondue as well, I saw someone having fondue. Cheers! Cheers, Hunter! I feel like it's way too hot for fondue. Yeah, it's so hot for fondue. Wow! Mmm! I don't know what it's gonna do! It's either gonna be really fun or. Oh, 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 oh. oh I got my fondue! Hold on to it! Hold on to it! This is fast! Hold on to it! So fast! <laughs> How is she not getting dizzy? I'm getting dizzy! <laughs> How fun is this? We found out that just one month every year in the summer, they hold a street food festival and it happens to be on when we're here. So we're going to be ending our time here in Zurich trying out some street food. How elaborate is that? Behind it is a van. <laughs> oh, there's a car. Hello, everyone. You're going to go, so you have to wait for it to stop and then it's going to be our turn. Good choice. Hunter, guess what this one does? You can ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> it's Santa Billy. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you? You good? I may or may not have some uh, damn good dumplings right now. Oh, they look good. Yum. I know they look really good. Whoa. It's really good. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Do you like the sauce? 
It is sriracha mayo. <laughs> Do you like it? No. <laughs> okay. Mm. Tasty, mm. as Hunter would say. Oh, that's good. Look how amazing this bao bun looks. Moon num hunter. Bao bun and a couple of spring rolls. Yeah. Yay! Is that a good one? They look good. Mm, spicy. Yeah, spicy. Mm -hmm. Remember when we lived off this in China? Yes. Oh, it was so good. Best for last. Best for last. Oh. Dum da dum. Da 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 dum. Whoa! <laughs> Auntie, did you like the street food markets? I know she did love it. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little different vlog. I don't know if we've done a vlog like this before, but this isn't the end of Switzerland. So if you want to see some more beautiful Swiss content, make sure you hit subscribe because we're about to go hire a car and go see those beautiful Swiss Alps. Think rolling green hills. Cannot wait for it. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you in the next one.